Hello Joomla people, my name is Mark, and today I'm going to show you how to incorporate an iframe into your existing site. An iframe, also known as an inline frame, is a way to incorporate outside content into your existing site. For instance, I have created an iframe that incorporates Google into our site. This is actually Google's site. It operates exactly as you would expect Google to operate. It has just now been incorporated directly into our site. Creating an iframe is relatively easy. It helps to know basic HTML and it helps even more to have an HTML editor such as Dreamweaver. What I have done is I have created an article and I have taken the HTML that I created in Dreamweaver, pasted it into the article, saved it, and then I went over to the menus, main menu and I added a menu link right here called iframe which you can see if you go to the existing page is right here and this is the code that I pasted in to create an iframe. Now there's another way to do this some particular types of templates will use what is called a wrapper and a wrapper is very similar but it's slightly different in creation you're going to go again to the main menu and you're going to go to new and then you want to go to wrapper click on wrapper again and get, we'll just call this wrapper for now make sure that it's in the top and we want to put the URL that we want to send this to which will be that same Google page that we showed earlier and for now you could just leave the parameters as they are hit save and if you go back to your page again hit refresh you'll see wrapper is right here next to iframe and if you click on wrapper it's pretty much the same the only difference is we have the title here which is easily removed if you'd like you can go back into wrapper and you can go into parameters system and say no page title hit save go back hit refresh and you'll see it's gone and it is essentially the same as the iframe before we go on it should be noted that since Joomla version 1.5.8 a security feature was enabled called blacklisting Blacklisting takes certain code, such as embed, head, applet, script, and iframes, and makes it so that they cannot be put onto a Joomla site unless you particularly give them permission to do so. Next, I'm going to show you how to remove the blacklist so that you can incorporate iframes into your site. All right, to enable blacklisting or to turn off blacklisting, go into your article manager, all the way over to parameters. Now you want to scroll down to where you see filtering options. Now you notice that nothing is selected here except for blacklist, which is by default. What I'm going to do is click on this, drag it all the way down, and for this purpose, I'm going to include super administrator because that's how I am logged in. Now I'll hit save go over to an existing iframe article I have and I will paste in the iframe code and click apply now do you see what happened it stripped it out it won't allow me to put the iframe text in there because it has been blacklisted to fix this go back into parameters scroll down and now I'm going to remove super administrator and leave the rest and you can leave any of these you want for any kind of security you feel you need for your particular site. In this particular case, I'm the only one working on this site. So I'm just going to keep everything else blacklisted and leave me basically whitelisted. Hit save. Now I will go back over to the iframe article. I will paste the code. I will hit apply. And you'll see it is still there. And you can actually test that by going back to the home page and you'll see the iframe is still working. 